Madam President, delegates. This statement is given on behalf of the International Drug Policy Consortium, Penal Reform International, Washington Office on Latin America, and the Association for the Prevention of Torture. As we approach 10 years since the Bangkok rules were adopted, we bring your attention to the increase of the female prison population over the past two decades. It is clear from country-based research that the number of women in prison has not grown dramatically because of an increase in criminal activity, but because of political choices, notably drug policies. The proportion of women in prison for drug offenses is significantly higher than that of men. Some of the highest rates are to be found in Latin America and Southeast Asia, with as many as 82% of women in prison in Thailand in prison for a drug offense. 53% in the Philippines, and over 60% in Peru and Costa Rica. In Brazil, 63% of women in prison in 2014 were there because of minor drug-related offenses, compared to a quarter of men. The harms of imprisonment on women and their children are well documented, as of the context in which women become involved in drug crime, with violence, coercion, and vulnerability thread throughout the lives of many. Against this backdrop, we are alarmed that many of the Bangkok rules remain on paper, especially the provisions that call for non-custodial alternatives and for sentencing practices to take into account mitigating factors. Swift and bold reform is needed to turn the tide on women's imprisonment. We call on the Human Rights Council and its mechanisms to pay greater attention to the harm and the violations suffered by women who come into contact with criminal justice systems, including by building on the work to date to address human rights violations associated with drug policies. Thank you.